here are the rear fuselage components. And you can see their windows cut out and access things and lots of folds. So those folds have all been um, embossed. And that's the interior. That goes inside the top one. It gives you kind of a neat look of interior structure. And there's the rear cockpit. There'll be a gun on top of that at some point. But all that is done beforehand. And then I put windows. You can see a clear window right there, because that's going to get sandwiched with the outer skin and get those windows to be clear. So those were cut out of the paper. Um, and I found, after a lot of test fitting, the best thing to do was actually to glue this thing up, in this case, and line up. I, used a, I started with a side, and uh, I lined up a window. So I'm very carefully lining up this window and then the bottom part. And I find that if I did that and got that first one, it's, it's kind of terrifying. But you get that first one right, and you can see me, I fold up the bottom to make sure it is uh, sort of um, in the right place. But I've done this, I, I test fit this so many times to make sure that once I do this and I roll the skin around, I'll end up with a good window, for instance, on the other side, and make, and make sure those ovals all fit underneath and look good. Because if they're off, you're going to see a white... Uh, piece around them and it'll look really dumb. So you, the, the key is to make sure that they are nice and, uh, and align with all those holes. Um, now all I'm doing is pushing the glue and trying to make sure this is nice and flat. Um, the biggest thing I did, I tried to make sure all the edges were just were tight, nice square bends, but in the very end they're not as tight as they need to be. So it's a box in the end and it looks fine, but if you look at it carefully, it's not as crisp as it really should be. So I did this again to make sure it was really tight. Really tight bends would, would be a better plan. So then I just let that dry and then slowly work my way around to the next side. And I'm just squitching that out so it's not so many. And again, now this time I'm making sure that top cockpit opening lines up well. And uh, everything sort of, the model is very well done. I mean, this all, it all lines up if you actually use the, there's very few things in here so far that have been issues, and they've mostly been my problems, if they were issues at all. So, I have to say, it's going very well. But what this requires you to do is just make sure everything is nice and solid and straight. And you can see there, I'm pushing this, I'm noticing, hey, that window's going to line up, and so are those underneath pieces. Then I took the time to um, glue in the little tail section. Um, that just folds down and glues there. And I think that part that's hatched is going to be where a tail skid's going to go. I think. We'll see. Anyway, you keep folding this around. And again, all I'm doing is checking to make sure everything lines up. And you can see there's the window with no white edge. So I'm pretty excited. Now, I messed up here. See this part here? This is, I made sure this was... Um, uh, that, that piece there... Is, is supposed to be, that little tab has supposed to fit inside, in between the inner skin and the outer skin. Um, and I didn't realize that till the very end. So one of my sides, I think that one, it won't go in there. It's just going to fit in on the inside and glue in and look dumb. The other side, I did it correctly. But it'll, it'll be okay. You're not going to spend too much time looking in that rear cockpit anyway. Um, so and then I'm just kind of rolling this over making sure it's going to come together. And uh, again, pushing and, and with enough test fits, when this thing comes down, that puppy should be really nice. And I'm making sure the window, again, is the most important piece. And when things when the skin's glued on, that helps hold the window in place because my little piece of acetate is just around the outside edge. But it And I glued that acetate this time, by the way, just with my white glue, thinking it would be tacky, but also maybe give it a little bit of spring if necessary. Um, and so far it's just perfect. So I'm just making sure this thing is nice and tight and making sure all the glue is, is there and the glue is flat. And uh, like right there, I'm special attention to that other side rim there or sill of the window um, because it has to be, has to be nice and, and closed and flat. Um, but really just making sure it's good. And so that when I fold over to the last side, the bottom, it's going to be even. At least that's the plan. You can see I'm pushing down and I'm trying to make sure this thing is flat on that window. When I do this, look at that. It's going to fold together really nice. So the last step was to get that bottom piece figured out, which is pretty easy to do. Again, 
just sort of smear it on there and then I use my big fat finger just to sort of smooth it out because you, if you leave I'm asking how I know but if you leave little bits of stuff that of glue that isn't smooth and then you try to put that skin over it you end up uh, with little <laughs> ridges in places and you don't want them. you want it to be flat it's supposed to be a girder box interior and uh, anyway it's supposed to be that way so fold this over, get it tacked a little bit to get started. And this, the last side, whatever one you do, if you start with the bottom or you start with any of them, the last one's the hardest. So you can see I have to take my fingers inside to push down and get a nice, nice flat um, uh, glue attachment, kind of pushing and squeezing, making sure things are good. And uh, I end up using tweezers. Um, I need really long tweezers, I guess, but I end up using some tweezers, and then I also end up, I think, sticking in one of my long um, um, pieces of, of uh, you yeah, know, there I am pushing a little bit, just trying to make sure everything is good and it's getting squeezed. In the middle, I can't get to, but what I'm going to do is take a long rod here, and basically I slid this in and rolled it around to make sure it is actually touching the, the bottom pieces are touching and I actually put it, I don't show this, but I put it on its on its bottom there and push that against the table. Now here I'm putting this last piece in, um, making sure that this piece, for example, is going to slide in between the skin and the inner component. Um, 20 years later, glue comes out. Oh, and then it comes out too much. But you make sure you get rid of excess, put some on the other side. And then a little on the bottom, and uh, I'll use my finger later just to get this uh, started. And this piece, the bot, that part there, the bottom, it didn't really glue on that well. But I'll deal with that when we start putting the other, the fourth fuselage part together. So that's not a big deal. Um, so now I got to make sure that this one slot uh, flap goes actually into this slot. So I make sure that that's open like that so that I can slide this in, and it worked pretty well. With glue, it's harder because it does start to stick, but if you push it in there, you can see I got it in there pretty good. The other side was the side I did incorrectly. That's just going to go on the inside, and it still will be fine when it's all over. Um, it'll, look, it'll look okay. And I'm just trying to make sure that those tabs glue and dry and are attaching. The biggest problem with this, it all goes together pretty well, the biggest problem, though, is you got to make sure you don't get twists. In my case, I end up with a twist at the very end in the back. So the stabilizer is going to be a little tricky to put on, I fear, because there is a noticeable twist in the back of the fuselage. This part, I think, looks pretty square when I was done. Here, I'm just trying to make sure it's all shored up and even. The edges, you see, just butt join it to the next one, the next former that will be in that the, the front fuselage section. So I'm going to have to probably... Um, do a little, do a little surgery or help a little bit there because uh, I'm a little nervous that that's just all you do is just butt join it. However, it's straight at square, which is good. So the front end is good. The front end looks square, but as you go to the back, you see I'm kind of trying to compress the 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 rear fuselage there a little bit, trying to make sure that it's it's going to look good and going to be square making sure that cockpit is okay. And here's where I'm noticing it's actually not quite perfect, but there's nothing I can do about it. Now, when I uh, put this piece on, this is where uh, I could probably do a little bit of uh, work to make it squarer, and I do a little bit. The other problem is here, uh, there are tabs back there that I ended up cutting off, because when I put the tabs in, this, the, the, the first time I test fit it, it was working great. When I glued the tabs in there, um, I couldn't put the inner, the inner uh, uh, cockpit skin in, so I ended up just cutting those tabs off, and I'm just butt joining them there, which will be fine. But the thing here is, you see me look on the end a few times. I look, I'm trying to sight down to see if it's crooked, and I try to twist the fuselage and then let that rear piece dry in such a way that it holds it straight. And I got it better than it was. You know, it did pretty successful. But right there, I'm realizing it isn't quite perfect. So I'm trying to make it so that it's flat. And again, as I say, I think I can fake it when I put the stabilizer on. But here I'm noticing that it's not perfectly flat either. Uh, again, those my, my biggest problem here, and you should watch out for it, is that box, those edges are supposed to be clean and flat. 
and mine are infinitesimally a little bit rounded. It won't look bad when it's done, but I know it's there, and uh, I hope it doesn't interfere with some of the later stages here in terms of lining things up. I'm just trying to make sure it's relatively good. It's not bad. It needs some touch-up with some paint or markers on a few places, but overall, um, looks good. I like the windows. They're going to look good, and those underneath pieces are just open on purpose. And then there's that rear cockpit where a Lewis gun's going to go. Looking pretty slick, and we will start the forward section next. It'll be, it'll be a, a good day.